Um, so I'm showing two different pieces. One is from a series about dollhouses and the other is just uh, portraits of like family and friends. The dollhouses are more, I think of it as kind of like a visual diary. So I usually do a piece, like a piece will have a specific thing it's about or something. And then the small portraits are just people that I'm interested in. So there's two pieces in this show and one is called Home and it's a uh, it's all uh, centered around my childhood dollhouse that my dad made and was passed down from all my sisters. So um, when I got it, it was all beat up, but uh, the piece entitled Home is about growing up in my family. I have seven brothers and sisters. I'm the seventh of eight children. So, and we all lived in this like little tiny, well, not tiny, but like a uh, middle-class home in Orange County that my parents still live in. But what I remember most about those days is that there were so many of us crammed in this house that there was something going on in every single room you went at just because there were so many people in one space. And so the dollhouse is uh, a house crammed with <laughs> all different dolls and like even one on the roof, which was pretty, uh, true of growing up like I would have a brother into astronomy and he would be literally on our roof with a telescope and stuff. In my family we're all very artistic but my sister my oldest sister majored in art and then my uh, parents did not she majored in art and she graduated but then my oldest sister is like the most free of all of us. So she moved to uh, Maui to become a professional windsurfer. My parents took that. My parents are very structured and very um, supportive, but very, uh, they want a calm life. So her moving to Hawaii, to Maui was seen as something bad. Like she couldn't get a normal job, so she had to move to Hope Maui and become a professional windsurfer. So after that, we were not, we were strongly encouraged not to major in art. Um, I attended Cal State Long Beach and I majored in math instead, but I would take an art class every semester just because I loved it. And then one day I was walking through the halls and I passed a life drawing classroom with the door was open and there was a nude model in the middle of the room and there were all these students in, on benches drawing the nude model. And I was like shocked. I had no idea that still went on in like nowadays. I thought that was something from like Renaissance times or something. So then uh, the next semester I enrolled in that class just to try it out and see what it was like and I Loved it. My teacher was Dominic Kratara, um, who ultimately, to my parents' despair, uh, it convinced me to major in art. So I graduated with a math degree, but then went back to get a master's in art. In math, I appreciate that you go through this process and you get a correct answer. And you know that answer is either clearly correct or clearly incorrect. It's not like kind of correct or something, right? So, but I feel like that same is true with realistic art and that's like sometimes you do something and it's just correct, it's right, you know? And then other times you're like, oh, it's not correct. So, and that's not, like it's hard for me to say exactly what that sense of it being correct is based on. I don't think it's based on like that's, totally realistic, it's correct, you know? I think it's some, it's something internal inside you where you can feel like, no, that's correct. At the time where I was at Cal State Long Beach, I felt like it was amazing gift of these figurative art teachers, which was Dominic, Yuji, and then John Lincoln before. Um, so it was just a amazing time, like, uh, where we had really strong teachers who were so um, passionate about realistic art, but also 
um, like very good thorough education as well. Roxanne, who's also showing her work, she was my teacher at Cal State Long Beach and I'm so impressed with her work and I love her so much. So it's uh, humbling in that uh, respect. Um, Andy is my very good friend, Andrew Dixon, and uh, we shared a studio together going through grad school. And then Vladimir, I met probably around that same time. Uh, he was in a sculpture class together. So I have ties with everyone, and it's, uh, I would just say, like a joyful experience to be in a show with all of them together. Mm -hmm.